Hey there, it's uh, Art by Susan King. I Today I'm going to do another um, Tree of Life. Uh, this time I'm just going to be uh, laying the paint down as a flip cup. About probably one, two, three, four flip cups on the canvas. And then once it's dry, I am going to, um, with this template, trace over the dried painting and um, paint, paint the uh, trunk white. So, um, as you can see, I've done a little bit of a tracing on the canvas already. I um, don't know if you can see, but... I've traced it on so that I kind of know where I want to pour the paint or flip, do the flip cups. Um, so it'll give me an idea of where I don't want it to cover the whole painting. I want there to be some white spaces up here. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pour some white paint probably here, here, and a few spots down here first. And then I'm going to do the flip cups. So, um, I'm <clears throat> excuse me. I'm using uh, a deep yellow for this uh, flip cup. Deep yellow, Payne's gray. Um, this is a deep blue, purple or violet, um, aqua green. A sky, sky blue, pale sky blue, white, of course, white and black. So, I think that's it. At the end of the video, I'm going to try and show you a dried result. Um, so, I think that's about it. Some people have asked me what this was. Yeah, I had this on one of my paintings before. I just put it on the side. It's actually, it's just a little thing that I have set up in my art room. It's actually a small print of an actual drawing I did for somebody. It commissioned me to, to draw their house. And it's just in uh, pencil. So, if you want to know what that is, that's what it is. I don't know how clear that is. And uh, my sign, my little sign here. I also put my name on my gloves. Uh, my channel name. The reason is because somebody stole one of my uh, videos and put it on their um, channel as their video. So I'm just trying to protect myself. So in case you're curious. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make four four cups, two larger ones here, but not this not this big, just maybe half, or maybe not even half. I'm not sure how much. I don't think I need much paint. I'll probably try a quarter maybe each up here, and then smaller ones down here. Just a couple of small little flip cups at the bottom. So I'm going to mix my paints first, well, not, uh, put my paints in the cups first, and then I'm going to apply the white. I just don't want to, I want to make sure the white doesn't dry too quickly. So, yeah, I guess that's what I'm going to do. So I might be fast forwarding through this if the video ends up being too long. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour, oh, and I have dimethicone in probably three colors, three or four colors. So I'm going to put white in. Payne's gray. Little bit of yellow. And a little 
do the pale blue. Some violet. Uh oh. Uh oh. I shouldn't be doing it over here, over this. So I'm going to move this for a minute. Oh, my dog. A little bit more white. Oh, shoot. Wrong white. <laughs> I have two different kinds of whites. I've got um, um, just regular white and I've got... Oh, titanium white. A little bit of black. And this blue. Okay, did I forget any? Aqua green. more white. Okay, I'm just going to put that aside. I think that's about right. I'll try and tell you what the size of the canvas is. It's a 12 by 16 canvas. Okay, and the cups. Just let me show you. I think, or they're 10 ounce cups. And got about, geez, I don't even know if that's enough. Uh, well, let's hope so. It's about this much in, maybe about, uh, not even a quarter of the cup, of the 10 ounce cup. Going to do another one. Okay, I'm back. So I've poured my uh, flip cups and I'm just going to add some paint, some white paint around the edges for this. So, okay, so about here. Okay, here I go. I will, I put the white around the edge and now I will do the flip cups. So, okay, how am I gonna do this? I need to find a piece of board. Okay, I got a piece of cardboard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like that, go like that. And then slide it over just so it doesn't splash. Do the same thing. And the little cups, I'm not sure I need to do that, so I will just do that and I will do that okay I'm just gonna let them sit for a minute doesn't look like there's much white as I would like in there so 
If there isn't, I can always drizzle some white on there. Okay, so looks like the paint's done. Probably have too much paint. I don't know. We'll see. A lot of black in there. I didn't mean to do that. Cool. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to drizzle some white on here. Because there's too much black. Just let that sit for a bit, see how it goes. Move it around a little bit. Not too much. I want it over there. I want it over here. Let's drop off a bit and I want it up there. down here a bit but it's not okay. really liking this okay so this is not, I want it down here a bit, so I'm going to try to move it down a bit. Yes. The cells are stretching out quite a bit. It's not going to work. It's getting mixed up too much. I do want it to come down more, but I don't want everything to be stretched out up there. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to torch it a little bit. Just to get rid of any bubbles.
now. my little blower and I'm going to start blowing the paint around just for the edges actually right. and my finger doesn't leak Okay, Oops. all right, I think I'm going to just leave it and then let it dry and then come back and um, paint in the trunk and the branches. All right, I'll see you when I come back. So my painting's dry, I thought I would show you. And now I'm going to put the, uh, draw the tree trunk and the, and the branches on it. So this is what it looks like dry. I cleaned, uh, cleaned it off. So this is my template. And I'm just gonna lay it down where I think it looks good. So I have a um, charcoal pencil that I'm going to use, white, to trace, and then I can just rub it off when I start painting. So this will just help me know where to paint. I don't think I'm going to come all the way out to some of these edges here. I'm going to stop right around here maybe. Um, because this template's a little bit too big for this canvas, I think. So I will stop probably about here and then I'll just taper it off. I don't even know if it's drawing on there. No, it's not even going on. So I will have to come back. I have to get chalk or something. Okay, I'm back and I just got regular chalk. So it's gonna make a wider line, but I can still I can still rub it off. It would help if I had something underneath this canvas too. Um Okay, I just put a couple of pads underneath underneath where I'm going to trace and it gives me something hard to hard underneath the canvas so it's easier so, okay, where was I? Right about here. Okay, that's about it. Okay, the paint I'm going to use is just straight from the tube, and it's Winsor Newton Galleria Titanium White.
So it's finished. I put another coat of paint on the trunk and the branches, but I didn't film it because it would just, the video would be too long. I'll just show you a close up. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.